good Sunday morning to you. How are you doing? Thank you, I'm doing fine. We're here in Brackettville, Texas, fixing to drive all the way over to Fort Clark Springs, which is about from right here, 200 yards <laughs> or less. So, guys, I gotta tell you something. You know, there's about a 50-50 chance my plans aren't gonna work out. I, have, I haven't heard anything, but you know, you never know, the paperwork, I've got some paperwork, but who knows? But if it doesn't, do I care? Hell no. <laughs> K said, ah, said, ah. You know, cast your fate to the wind. You know, move through life with a plan, and if they don't work out, make some more. Fickle people know these things. Other people don't. Other people want to stick to the plan all the way to hell. So here we go. We're going to cross Los Mortis Creek says, when you cross Los Mortis Creek, your sins are washed away. That's an old Indian legend, supposedly. I'm a legend now. Well, I guess, be that as it may. Content is king. We have covered chickens, turkeys. We've also talked about tumblebugs some time ago. And what else? Squirrels. I talked about squirrels. And, uh, Right now, I have no clue. Uh, there's a garbage sale there, or garage sale, I'm sorry. I call it garbage sales because that's basically what it is. And as a matter of fact, that leads me to something I can mention. Right next to the place I'm buying, the people are moving out, I've mentioned that. They've lived in that home for 21 years. And, uh, and anyway, the old woman there died and I, I don't the husband's pretty old too anyway but in 21 years you should see the stuff they have accumulated because they're moving it out now because they want to put the house on the market and sell it so they've got to clean everything out that they don't that well that I guess they think they want to keep I'm not sure a lot of family heirlooms and crap Mostly it's furniture. They have got a crap load of furniture, man, and big old heavy wood stuff. You know what I mean? Not, you know, well, not uh, uh, Amazon Chinese stuff, but, you know, regular built stuff. No kidding, man. It is amazing. And I thought to myself, Seth, if you get this house, you don't want to be, you don't want to be that. No, I, I'm going to, as I mentioned several times I try to be what's called what is labeled a minimalist but I, I don't know that I'm that I am me I'm, I'm, I'm old fickle me but we are at Fort Clark Springs now going right down the main drag here why well just for the hell of it because I sure don't have much else to do and we're going to kind of go a back road here in a minute and go back to my place it's a beautiful day. Temperature right now shows to be about 60 degrees. As you can see, the skies look pretty good. And so, if you're a golfer, they have an 18-hole golf course here. They sure do. Yep. And it's really cheap to play. It costs you for a, a year with a golf cart, 800 bucks probably. Cheap, cheap, cheap. But I am, I've kind of gotten too old for golf and, and one of the things that golf will do for old timers is it will cause them some back issues and sometimes some knee issues and sometimes some hip issues and all that stuff so be that as it may you know i've looked at they make a little electric four-wheeler not a golf cart but just an electric four-wheeler of like a off-road thing and they're not very expensive compared to a golf cart now, what has that got to do with anything? God, I don't know, guys. Y'all are just listening to me talk, and I, and, and I do. I, I jump around like crazy. Uh, but, you know, do I want a golf cart? No. Do I need a golf cart? No. We've all, we all been down this road many times, many times. So, I'm trying to remember how to get to that road. But back to the electric <laughs> four-wheelers. They do have them, and I'm sure they've got a number of them, actually. And they're, they're not too expensive. And uh, so I may have to check on that. 
do y'all want to see something around here uh, at Fort Clark Springs? I've shown you the bunkers. I know where they uh, uh, put the, the powder and stuff during, when this was actually a fort. Yeah, what, what kind of crews out there? I ain't, I ain't got a thing to do. Yeah, I'll show you the bunkers and we'll go down the Red Bridge and then we'll come back with my shortcut. And that ought to be a reasonable video because we're cruising along here at about 20 miles an hour. And the good thing about this all electric vehicle I'm driving, a Chevy Bolt, is you can put it on cruise at 20 miles an hour. I, I guess you can do it on other cars too, but I, I think under a certain speed it doesn't work. It says golf cart crossing. But yeah, we'll go see the bunkers. Yeah, they're just big concrete things. And if there was a, a you know, like a nuclear explosion around here during a war, it'd be a hell of a good place to hide out because the concrete on those things is over a foot thick. No, they're, it's amazing. Uh, it's, it's amazing. We got, there's a few places. That, that house is for sale. I, I saw another place for sale that had an RV carport, and I thought it was a little small place. I was walking this morning. I called the number because it said for sale by owner with a sign in the front yard, and I called, and the lady said they wanted 148000 for it, and I thought, my God, yes, have they gone up that much? And uh, what? But they got two bedrooms, two baths, all that stuff. And so here we go, we go down. You know, it takes a while to learn your way around this fort because all these little trails like this look like they don't go anywhere, but they do. This goes down to the bunkers and Red Bridge Park. But this road is closed at sundown. They, they actually do, they close it, they come by, security comes by and locks the gates all around in here at right at sundown. And then in the mornings, right before sunrise, they come around and unlock them every day, seven days a week. And what I love, did you see the movie with Chevy Chase where he was an Arthur and he was going to write his, oh, I got to show you this. He was an Arthur and he was going to write his quote book. And they ended up in this little weird old town called Redbud. <laughs> I think about that a lot here because they've got a, a security vehicle. It's old, it's an old Ford something. And the, the, the exhaust pipe rattles, you know, you, you can hear them coming, rattle, rattle, rattle. Well, this is one of the bunkers right here. See that? And th there's several of them. I, I don't know. There's, I think there's, jeez, I don't know, five or six of them. And they're all locked. You, you, you could probably get a key and get in there if you really wanted to. But, yeah, we'll go down here and see if I can find a spot to turn around. But it's okay to go on this road in a car. Some of the trails, they don't want you to use a car on. Just a golf cart or bicycles and stuff. Yeah, there's another bunker on the left. I don't want to go too far. This is a pretty rough old road here. Uh, as you can see, it was paved in 1845. And it hadn't been paved since. That's when this fort was built, 1845. I'm gonna turn around here. Why? Looks like a good spot. Okay. Yeah, old brush country, Texas there, boy. Everything out there's got thorns on it. And don't think it won't stick you good. And if you're wearing, well, Crocs, walking out there is not your best pair of shoes, I promise you. Okay, Bolt, let's go. Well, actually, this is the Gray Ghost. That's the, the color of this vehicle is called, it, the color is called Gray Ghost. And now we'll go back through my shortcut back to the Casa, and y'all will have seen some more of Fort Clark Springs. Now, you've probably seen this before. I'm sure I did a, a video of it. And, uh, bump, 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 bump. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, the trails are wonderful. I mean, you know, a, a golf cart would be something uh, to do them in. I, I, you know, some, it's weird. Some, this, one of the things I don't like about a golf cart is that it's got that top, you know, that shade, that roof thing. 
of course you can take it off it's it's, it's not that hard to remove them but uh, I don't like that because when I'm riding on my trike you know I can look around just like people do on a bicycle or a motorcycle and it's pretty neat you know the wind blowing in your face and stuff you don't have a windshield and that crap anyway it's just good and they don't go that fast anyway golf cart goes about I don't know they might go 15 to 25 miles an hour depending on how you got them set up but now we'll go well they have apartments here too have I ever shown you those maybe I have maybe I haven't but they they, they sell them you can buy you an apartment here, a condo, and they're not too bad. Uh, they range, uh, actually, I, I saw them as low as $35,000. But you, know, you still got to member, be a member of the Property Owners Association and stuff. But yeah, it's right here. It's called, I can't remember, It's uh, it's got a cute name. But that's them coming into view, and it looks like they've got some for, it's called the Masters. I'll, I, I'm talking about seven things. Okay, it looks like they've got some for sale. I got that out. The name of these are condominiums is called the Masters Condominium, and it's they're right on the golf course. That's hole number, well, that's it says par three, number two, 200 yard. That's a pretty good par three, 200 yard. But yeah, you get a covered carport thing, and uh, yeah, if you want to find out about them, you can call Rihanna. She's my re the realtor for me. Rihanna at Hay Real Estate or Hay Realty. Her number is 210 three one seven nine two four five tell her rusty sent you but yeah uh, they're pretty neat you know but again you, know, you probably won't find any as cheap as i just mentioned because they're all sold out but but yeah it's uh, yeah you can watch the golfers right off your patio you know i think they're one bedroom there may be some two bedrooms in there i'm not sure but see there's some golfers right there it's kind of it'd be kind of fun to be sitting there and, in the evening watching the golfers go by having a glass of beer and you know i guess or doing whatever you do but yeah it's a, it's a neat place I, I looked at it but i just didn't want to live in a condominium you know different strokes for different folks but yeah there, there's three levels there's an elevator and stairs you know to get up to your apartment and uh, you know if you want a better view you get up on the third floor and if you don't want to climb steps you get on the first floor, okay? And in the middle is in between. Yeah, but I thought, man, I'd get one up on the third floor and have a hell of a view. And you do. You do. You definitely do. Is it noisy there? I don't think so. I, I don't think they put up with any of that crap. I mean, if you if you uh, abuse your privilege, you're, you're out. Now we'll take a shortcut and go back to the house. What do you think? Because I got some got some people that said they were going to come by and look at the house. Ha, ha, ha. Shit. <laughs> you, you kidding me? We don't need no stinking badges. Fort Clark Springs, an uncovered diamond here in southwest texas kind of reminds me of capitan new mexico because you know it's just one of those places that was kind of overlooked but i'm going to go back now and i'm going to check on a all electric four-wheeler why i just have something to do am i going to buy one no but it, it, it's fun to look how long has this been going on? Oh my God, seven hours and 20 minutes. Yeah, this place is really an amazing uh, retirement, mainly, community. And uh, yeah, and the golf course is okay. I mean, it's cow pasture golf. It's certainly not Pebble Beach, but the rates are cheap and you know, you, you're, they're not that formal so to speak. Okay, now this goes down, believe it or not, to a road. I go to the left and it goes parallel to a little creek, if I can find it here. There went one of the Quakers, no, I'm kidding. Okay, yeah, this looks like, you know, that it would be a golf cart, golf path, but it's not, even though 
it's it's a it's a high, it's a road that goes through a neighborhood, even though there's a golf cart coming. Yeah, they uh, cruise around in here and stuff. They're going to hit that white ball and try to find it. You know, golf, of all the games I've ever played, if you really sit down and analyze it, it's probably one of the stupidest games ever invented, you know? I mean, you hit this little white ball with a stick, and then you chase it and go hit it again until you get it on this little mound, and then there's a hole in the center of the mound or somewhere on the mound, and you beat on the ball till you get it in that hole, and when you do, you go to the next one and do it all over again. Uh, Woo! <laughs> yes. I don't know, man. There's something to be said about that, but man, you talk about a popular sport with older folks, it is. There's a creek off to the right. I don't know what the name of that one is, but it's, it's uh, and you can pull down there, you know. Now, you might be able to see, let me turn the thing here. There, there's places to pull over down in there, and you can, you can go picnic, okay? Yeah, I've pulled over and eat a sandwich before. I didn't help anything, did I? The plan was good, though. Yeah, there's a trail that goes right by that creek. I've ridden my trike down it many times. And uh, quite, quite enjoyable, actually. On and on. Have I got this thing crooked here or what, Rusty? What do you think? <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get back to my house here, and I'll end the video, but in the interim, uh, I will cogitate or think and see if what I come up with that has any meaning at all. But isn't this just a pleasant little drive or walk or whatever here along that creek? It is, yeah, there, and there, there's several. You can go straight out in that brush straight ahead. There, There's probably 50 miles of trails. You know, and behind me, there's another 30 or 40. Unbelievable. And I'm not eating my chocolate almonds. Why? I left them at the house. Why? Well, because what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back and uh, get on my trike and ride over to the place I'm going to plan on buying and sit there and have a snack and listen to the sounds and plan where I want to park my RV because I can park it on either side of the of the concrete slab that's covered and uh, I, I, I pretty much decided to put it on the side well never mind you'd have to see the place but but I pretty much uh, decided that <laughs> woo -wee. Content is key. You know, some one of these days I'm going to have some content. Or is it content? Con you're content. Like contented? That's what it is. Contented. Content. Contented. We are now on red bud. It, notice it there on that sign. It's two words. Red space bud. Now when you see the name on these houses, <coughs> it'll be red bud. One word. Okay. Why is that? I don't know why she swallowed a fly. I think she may die. Yep. We're getting close to my place now here on the left, right by that monstrous fifth wheel that they never use, or hardly ever. I don't know, I, I, I'd be scared to tow it myself. Okay, so now we peel in here. And here's home. There's old Classita and oh boy, whoa. So guys, enjoy your day. Thumbs up, Carpe Diem. Adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Just enjoy your life. Keep your health. And it's a easy peasy, guys. Bye.